Hello, Dean the Balloon Stick here. I'm here to show you how to make Happy Cabby's favorite dog breed. The wrong one. <laughs> the Chihuahua. It's made out of a one balloon 260 Qualitex brand based upon a teddy bear head. And if you don't know what a teddy bear head is, uh, let's give you a quick tutorial here. We've got another 260 here. It's kind of a variant of it. We take a soft bubble, and a soft bubble is you squish it down a little bit so it's a little bit softer and less firm than the rest of the balloon. A couple inches there for the snout of the teddy bear. Make a side of the head. Make an ear. And for the ear, you fold the balloon over, pull, and pinch twist it, or ear twist, or a kidney bean twist. And it's all the same twist, just different names. It's We made a teddy bear ear, so they call it a teddy bear ear, or call it a pinch twist, or call it a kidney bean, because it looks like a kidney bean. Make the top of the head. Take the same size bubble you made for the first ear and pinch kidney bean, twist that one. Face it so it goes the same direction and now we go to the other side of the head, same proportionate bubbles there and twist those off at the neck. And we we'll find out which way the ears are facing and Show the snout and kind of roll it on through. And we have a teddy bear ear. Just reposition the ears so they're kind of facing forward and turning inward. And we have a good teddy bear ear. Which is pretty basically like the Chihuahua that I did. And this is a different version that I just showed you. Except for Instead of the snout going outward, it's heading backwards. You'll see the diagram right now. It looks a little complicated, but I'll show you step by step on how to do this chihuahua here. Take a balloon, a 260. You could use it as a 160, but it looks a little anorexic for a chihuahua. They're kind of short and small, but they're not really that anorexic. They kind of got a little bit of meat in your bones. Blow it up. A little bit less than halfway. We got an uninflated 260, and it's a little bit less for a tail than that's how much you need to blow it up. I'm not saying blow up half the balloon, I'm saying blow up so you have half the tail left over uninflated. Pinch off. Probably about three quarters of an inch of a back balloon instead of the nose for the teddy bear. Now we're going to go to the top of the snout, another bubble, and now we go to the nose of the doggy. For the nose of the doggy, we're going to do a pinch twist. And that's why I don't really like to call it an ear twist because a pinch twist could be anything. It could be an ear, it could be a nose. And we go a little bit smaller than the top of the snout for the bottom of the snout. And we're done with the snout. Now, just like the teddy bear, we start off with the side of the head, but ooh, quite a bit smaller. And just like the teddy bear, we go on to an ear twist, but this isn't going to be the teddy bear, this isn't going to be the chihuahua's ear. This is going to be a bulgy eyeball. Pinch twist that, and now we go on to the ear. A really tiny bubble for like the bottom of the ear. Fold that over and pull this upwards for the top of the ear. And want to twist that into place. And now we got an ear and a bulgy eyeball. Go to the top of the head, small bubble again. Just like the first eye, same proportion wise. Doesn't matter if you get it exactly right, proportionate wise. Animals are lopsided all over the place. Just look at my face. So you get that eye of that. 
bottom of the ear just like you did normal the last time. Pull it up, top of the ear, and now we got almost the whole head. Get the other side of the head. Lock twist that in the place there. And you can let go of everything except for that first bubble. Because if you let go of everything, stuff comes untwisted if you know what I if you have twisted balloons before. Just like the teddy bear head, should the knot end in and roll on through to the other side. And kind of even it up. Now we get like an even space. Twist the nose so it faces upright the right way. Twist the eyeballs so they're kind of curved with a pinch towards the bottom on both sides. Twist the ears and now we got the chihuahua head. We've got quite a bit of a tail left. Not much, according to some animals, but this is a small animal. Just squish a little bit to make it a hard bubble this time now. Make a itty bitty tiny neck. Itty bitty tiny legs. Size isn't important here, just make it proportional to what you have for the balloon you have left over. Just make the front legs the same size. Body, who knows how it's up to you if you want a long chihuahua, sh short chihuahua, but you also have to incorporate on how much room you have for the last legs here. And itty bitty back legs. Sometimes you might have a longer tail, sometimes you'll have a full tail. I'd like to have a little bit longer of a tail than that, but if you got something short and stubby like that, just squish it down to make it a little bit thinner than the body. And don't worry, you won't pop the balloon unless you got a defective balloon or sharp fingernails here. And what to do with this last knot? Take it and wrap it into the base of the neck and hide it in between the front legs. So you got a thick neck, a sh short body, big bulgy eyes, and pointy ears. Or Happy Cabby's favorite doggy, the Chihuahua. Dean the Balloon Six signing off.